Hello everybody, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm falling in love with the Rust compiler by literally writing Python code and it telling me how to convert that into Rust. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I've just opened up a fresh project in IntelliJ here. And, and as you can see, we've got kind of a normal main function for a Rust project. So what I'm going to do is just going to be completely um, oblivious to this. And I'm just going to write pure Python code and see how Rust... So I've literally taken a default Rust project, Rust Python code, and I'm going to show you how good the compiler is by literally walking me through how to change this and actually convert it into uh, Rust code. So all I'm going to come over to here is do cargo uh, build, and it will spit me out a bunch of errors and says, oh, you know, um, you've written a function here, but you should probably write it with the FN keyword instead of the DEF keyword. So I'll make that change. So I'll write that FN instead of DEF to declare a function. So if I clear that now and I go cargo build, it's going to give me a load more errors this time. So I'm going to just skip through these to just start reading the kind of different errors that we've got. So we've run cargo build, we uh, expected, so function greet expected one of uh, colon at or L. Anonymous parameters are removed. Da, 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 da. If this is a self type, give it a parameter name. So it's not a self type. If this is a parameter name, give it a type. Ask. Ah, I feel like I need to add a type here. So this is going to be a name and this is going to be a string. So if I do that, hopefully that will get rid of that error there. And um, it's not an anonymous, so I don't need that. Return types are donated using the R. Ah, so it's asking me to um, add a return type here. And it looks like I need to add uh, this here. So if I go return string, that should hopefully fix that keyword. Um, expected found keyword return. Uh, return expected a type. Ah, I think it's related to this error here. So there we go. I've just followed the Rust uh, compiler and followed its steps. And let's see what it's got now for me. Uh, so expected one of these, da 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 da, but found uh, found a colon. Ah, I think it doesn't like colons. It probably wants square braces. Oh yeah, if we look here, look in the main function, we've got square braces here. So what I'm going to do, let's change that to square braces. Let's wrap that in there. Let's get rid of that. And let's see where we go from here. Ooh, a few more interesting errors here. So, so we've gone cargo build. Uh, expected a semicolon, but found print ln. So it looked like help. Add a semicolon here. Yep, fine, I can do that. I'll add a semicolon there, that's fine. Unexpected token. Format argument must be a string literal. Greeting. Uh, you might be missing a string literal to format with. Maybe add this. Okay, fine. Let me add that. So we've got greeting now. Um, cannot add string to a reference of a string or a string slice. Uh, cannot be concatenated to string or string slice. Help create an own string to the left and add a borrow to the right. Ah, so if I put two owned on the left, so I'm up here. So if I put two owned and then on the left, I need to put a reference. So if I put an at there then that should get rid of those. No more errors. Clear. Cargo build. Where's my cargo build? Cannot find value greeting in scope. Uh, you might have meant to introduce a new binding. Put the word let. Okay, fine. Let me put the word let there. Um, cannot find value greeting a scope, found in scope. I don't think, I think that's based off the proof. Mismatching type. Help, try using a convention method of to string. Okay, so uh, if I say to string there, so Hayden to string. If I come up with this on another line, will that make it easier to see for you guys? Yeah, there we go. Function defined here, function greeting. Okay, let me get rid of that. Cargo build. Oh my god. Cargo run. Hello, Hayden. Look at that. I've literally written Python code into the Rust uh, compiler and it has told me how to convert that into actual Rust code. And if I go in here now and change this to, I don't know, uh, let's say Bob, hello, Bob. Do cargo run. Hello, Bob. And um, let's do. Alice, cargo run. <laughs> Hello, Alice. I mean, that is crazy. Can you not see why everybody's loving Rust? Because the compiler is just so, so helpful for you. So there we go. That was just a quick little video to show you how amazing the Rust compiler actually is. I've literally put Python code into it, and it's told me how to convert that into Rust code by following the errors. Blew my mind. Honestly, this is amazing. 
I'll hopefully do more little videos like this uh, as I'm doing my Rust journey and kind of showing you what I'm learning as well at the same time. And um, I just thought this was a bit of a fun video. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to enjoy the I'm learning Rust video, which will be linked here. Apart from that, let me know what your favorite feature about the Rust compiler is down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. See ya.